Hi loves, happy Tuesday. I hope that all is well. Today is Taco Tide Tuesday and for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the ego. So I really feel like the ego is a downfall for a lot of people because when you are too in your ego, it can cause you to fall into things like pessimism, narcissism, and greed, as opposed to when you have a healthy balance of your ego and it helps you with your drive, your willpower, and your focus. Being too in your ego will also stop you from becoming the best version of yourself because it'll cause you to overlook all of your negative traits and have trouble coming face to face with the qualities that you have to improve. So I'm going to give some tips today on how to have a healthy balance of your ego and your spirit, how to keep your ego in check. So if you are interested, let's get into it. Okay, so now this video is seriously an important topic and I've been wanting to speak about the ego for a long time because especially in today's society i don't know what it is about today's society i think it's really just because of social media social media is really the cause of most things in today's society but a lot more people are falling into their ego they're falling into greed you know people they just want 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 they're selfish um narcissistic this is a lot of what's really going on in today's society and so that's why i felt like today would be an important topic now say if you're a prideful person and before i even get into this video for real i just want to say um if you are watching this video make sure that you are allowing yourself to be open to the things that i'm going to be expressing because if you are heavily in your ego then it may be hard for you to understand certain concepts about why your ego may be bad or why you shouldn't be a certain way because yeah, for people that are in their ego, they have a hard time listening to others. They have a hard time taking constructive criticism. So I do just want to put that out there. And I even want to talk a little bit about um, my struggles, mostly with pride, I would say. For me, for example, I used to be a little bit of a prideful person and it really wasn't until i started doing my healing that i started to realize like i was a little bit prideful and i was prideful in the sense that i didn't like to take constructive criticism because at the time i went through certain things and i had certain experiences and trauma that made me feel like whenever somebody was giving me constructive criticism it was an attack but in all honesty that is usually how it feels when somebody gives you constructive criticism it's basically an attack on your ego your ego wants to be in control your ego you know has this inflated sense of self it feels like it knows everything like it is everything and so when somebody comes to you with something that's opposing to your ego it feels like an attack so i do want to also say to be open to constructive criticism be open to new knowledge be open to learning new things just be open and that's the number one rule when it comes to keeping your ego in check because if you don't you're gonna miss out on a lot the thing about life that i've really started to realize is that it's important to be a student you don't always have to know everything we're not always going to know everything we don't know half of what there is to know to be completely honest and we die without knowing a lot of information because there is so much to know about life and just about everything so be a student if somebody does you know let you know about something like hey you know i feel like you should work on this or hey you know i feel like when you did this it was a little you know extra or a little much or whatever be open to receiving constructive criticism because that's the only way that you're going to get better and a lot of times to be completely honest we don't always see certain things about ourselves until somebody points it out to us especially if you have grown up dealing with a lot of trauma you know everybody's situation is different some people have really went through some really rough things and experienced a lot and when you grow up in environments like that it's normal to you it's natural you don't really see the difference in yourself and somebody that maybe has grown up in a better safer healthier environment until you come face to face with them and you start seeing how you're so different and the contrast between your personalities and the way that you think so when somebody does take the time to let you know about something that they see for one be grateful because you know most people they want to be the best they want to be better than others so they're not going to even let somebody know about something that is wrong that they need to improve because they want that person to be down be open to taking constructive criticism that is so important and i cannot like stress that enough and at the end of the day you don't know everything so don't come from a place of you feeling like you know everything and you know all of that stuff 
So another really good way to balance out your ego is by doing things for other people. When you are really heavily in your ego and you're egotistical, nine times out of ten, you're a very selfish person and it's all about me, me, me. It's all about what can I do for me? How can I use this person to get something? How can, you know, it's just all about you. So doing things for other people, being kind, extending a hand when you can, that's really going to help you to keep your ego in check and to balance out your ego. It's going to help you to also be a lot more humble. So another really good way to keep your ego in check is by listening to other people when you have conversations. So say it can be anything that you're talking about. A lot of the time, people that are really in their ego, they like to... <laughs> It's really about them so they like to hear themselves talk they like to be the center of attention they want everything to be about them so nine times out of ten when they're in a conversation they're not actually listening to the other person they're not actually having a genuine connection and conversation they're really just listening to speak or they're listening to talk about what they want or they're just talking about themselves practice listening to other people when you are in a conversation practice being open to new knowledge practice being open to what somebody else is talking about and not allowing it just to always be about what you want what you want to talk about you your life what you have going on and this doesn't necessarily have to be a specific conversation just anytime that you're interacting with people it can be when you just met somebody or you're just having a conversation just be open and receptive to what they're talking about and be present within the conversation so another really important thing when it comes to keeping your ego in check is to release control the thing is with our ego a lot of the times it wants to be in control it wants that power so when you release control it allows you to be more connected to spirit allows you to be more connected to the present moment which allows you to release control fully and not be so in that energy of wanting to control every single thing a lot of things when it comes to life are not in our control and we try so hard to control certain things and i'm not gonna lie even with making schedules and things we literally can control things to the point where we can make a schedule for a day and then you know everything is going according to plan and then something happens life literally is just like that so practicing being present practicing releasing control of situations just allowing things to be and just being ready for whatever comes will really help you to step out of your ego so another major thing that i want to speak about when it comes to controlling your ego is to not compare because when you see especially like now with social media right everybody is comparing themselves everybody's comparing their life everybody wants to live a certain way look a certain way and we fall into that comparison and our ego tends to feel attacked because we feel like people may be better than us or just whatever the case start stepping out of that comparison energy give compliments more than anything when you see somebody and they're living a certain way or they look a certain way or you just feel like somebody else has something that you want try not to fall into the jealousy and the envy and you know feeling like oh why is that not me i feel like that's a big thing nowadays within this generation everything is a competition and that's why i say that society right now it's always been ran by ego but even more so with social media people are a lot more in their ego and in their pride they're greedy and they just want you know certain things to be a certain way and they get upset when they see other people living a certain way and it's just really toxic so when you feel triggered like that start practicing stepping into yourself and saying well that is nice because at the end of the day whatever somebody else has you can have it too at the end of the day there's nothing on this planet that somebody else has that you can't have it's just that you have to put in the work so being happy for other people and giving compliments to other people it literally takes nothing away from you and who you are there's more than enough to go around in this world so that's why i don't understand the whole competition mindset it's really an ego driven thing so when you start practicing being genuinely happy for others you start to see changes in your own life because of the energy that you're putting out so the last tip that i want to give is to try not to fall into complaining a lot um start practicing gratitude that's why i journal and i like to write out things that i'm grateful for when we allow our ego to kind of take control of us and things don't go our way we get upset and you know sometimes people they throw tantrums and it's like be more grateful for everything that you have i don't care if you feel like you have nothing and you woke up and you know you have these bills that you have to pay you're not staying in the place that you want to stay at be grateful for the things that you have be grateful for who you are the fact that you are breathing the fact that you have body parts because some people don't even have arms or legs some people can't even see this beautiful earth so it's like 
just start practicing gratitude for the things that you have and stop complaining stop getting upset about what you don't have and focusing on what you don't have when you focus on something wherever you put your energy into it grows literally you're putting your energy into negativity into complaining into ungratefulness that's all you're gonna receive because that's the type of energy that you're putting out start practicing being more grateful being mindful um staying grounded and present i like to do certain things that help keep me balanced mentally spiritually and emotionally there's nothing wrong with striving for things and wanting more for yourself but when you notice that that's the only thing that you're starting to focus on that you're losing touch of reality that you're losing touch of the present moment and that you're not acknowledging what you already have and you're just always striving then you're losing yourself and you're not grounded and you're too in your ego a lot of the time too it's like we're striving 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 so much that we don't take a step back to stop and see how far that we've even come and express gratitude for that especially if you've overcame certain situations and you've made it out of that but you're still so focused on wanting more and wanting more that's when you fall into greed so try not to fall into that take time to stop and to acknowledge how far that you've come um the type of situations that you may have made it out of because at the end of the day like some people don't make it out of certain situations some people they never get to see happiness some people they don't get to live you know a good life so just make sure that you're always taking time to be grateful that you're always taking time to acknowledge how far that you've come and not just being focused on what more that you can have but that's it for this video i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video i really wish all of you guys the best i want the best for everybody and if you're watching this video and you are genuinely looking to improve yourself i am very proud of you because it does take a lot but you are the one percent at the end of the day most people they do not take the time to actually become the best version of themselves and to go after the things that they want so i just want to say kudos to you and i am very proud of you and if you're not already subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed share with somebody that you feel may um find this video useful and i will catch you guys in my next video thank you peace out if you become a shit, not be a head of state But my people then go say I don't want to die I don't want to die